hello there, Glitter Critters! Corinne here, and you're watching Corinne vs. Pin! Gemstone Soap Edition. Did you know you can get gemstones? Yeah, it's a thing. It's not quite as intense as a hollow high, hollow every day, bro! But it can still mess you up pretty bad. Like this one, for instance, right here. You could lose a whole day on this mamma jamma. Oh, it's too late. It's already pulled me in with its reflective amazingness. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> How long has it been? Oh, only five seconds. This shit is strong. Today, I'm trying a project suggested by Lila in Dark Star 101, Gemstone Soap. You know, it's been around the internet for quite some time. A bunch of you have requested it, but I'm guessing it's because BuzzFeed Nifty just came out with this video. But I'm an OG internet user, so I remember this project and this project. So you know what? We're gonna try all three because I am an overachiever and I really like gemstones and I want them to all be pretty. Let's get started, shall we? <laughs> Let me get another hit of this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Internet research land. Let's do this. I mean, this all seems pretty easy. You're just supposed to use a pre-made soap base and, you know, dye it and cut it up and blah, blah, blah. But where's the fun in that? I think we should try making our own soap from scratch. How hard could it be? This recipe seems pretty easy. And I already have all these oils. But I do need some lye. Yes, and this recipe links to this lye, which says it's drain cleaner. Maybe my local Lowe's has some. Yes, here it is, right here. It says 100% lye, and it's 100% sodium hydroxide. I think this is exactly what we need. Aisle 32, bay eight, here we come. Better hurry up too, cause they close in 15 minutes. I'm trying not to speed, I'm trying not to speed. Aisle 32, mofos. We need the 100%, I don't see it. Oh. 100% lie. Hmm. I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little scared. All right, it's straight up dark outside right now and I'm still rocking the sunglasses. <laughs> Ooh, looking good, looking good. Don't lie, you know you think I'm sexy. Okay, I think we have all the ingredients that we need. I probably should read on and see how to actually make this stuff. Woo, <laughs> that's kind of a long time. And then what the Wait, there was no mention of zinc whatever in the ingredients list? Or glycerin. What the hell, ingredients list? And this says it needs to sit for like a week? Okay, ain't nobody got time for that. F this, we're using pre-made soap base. I bet they sell some goodish here on the internet. Of course they do. I just have to wait two days now. Yay. Okay, yes, here we are, two days later, and it feels like a fabulous day to make some soap. I'm going to start with this opaque soap first, and yeah, all we gotta do is cut it into small cubes, put it into a measuring cup, and then melt it in the microwave for 20 seconds at a time. You just gotta make sure to stir in between each interval. Okay, no, hey, no. Don't, don't. Yeah. Now I'm just pouring the soap into my cake pop mold that I used for the lollipops, actually, last week. I'm probably gonna use this for everything but cake pops. F you, cake. You suck. Yeah, no one likes cake. Now I just have to add food coloring to each little section and give it a good stir. I kind of added different levels of food dye to the different sections so we could have like an array of colors, I guess. A skin started to form on some of them, so I just removed it and carried on. Kind of felt like a plastic surgeon or something. Is that weird? This just got weird. Sorry. I have stuff to do here. You're in the way. You're just gonna ignore me? Rude. Alrighty, yeah, that's fun. Okay, so now I'm going to melt some of the clear soap and then basically doing the same pouring and coloring process as I just did with the opaque soap. Not that hard to figure out. Now I'm just gonna pop this situation into the freezer so it hardens faster. And while that's happening, I'm gonna try the BuzzFeed gemstone soap approach. Okay, all we gotta do is melt some more clear soap, pour that into some cups. I thought I was gonna make six, but I only had enough for four, so four it is. Lucky number four. Now I'm just melting some more clear and adding just a touch of food coloring. And yes, this is the color I think that we want. And we're just supposed to pour that 
in on top of the clear. But I don't think this is what's supposed to happen. They kind of all mixed together and now there's really no more clear. Let's be clear. I wanted some clear. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Moving along. You know, I'm thinking these should go into some ice water so that they harden a little bit before I pour this next layer in. Uh, yeah, we're gonna just melt some more clear, add a couple touches more of the food coloring, and yes, this layer is a little darker. Yeah, and that kind of worked a little better. Um, it's nice and separate now. I need a little separation right now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a break. What aren't you getting about this? Yeah, and then we need one more layer, I guess. Um, this time I decided to just go balls to the wall and just add black in there. Black like my soul. And I'm just gonna let it sit in an ice bath until it's completely hardened. Woo! Soap making is fun! Alrighty then, I think our little cake pop mold situation has hardened, so we're gonna just pop out the opaque ones and chop them up into weird little random pieces. This is actually pretty difficult because it's soap and it's kind of slippery. You would expect this situation to be very clean. It's not clean, it's actually very messy. The soap is messy. Yeah, anyway, so here we are chopping up our little pieces and this is what we got. All right, I got this soap mold situation here. Yeah, I actually bought a soap mold because I'm a professional and I buy the appropriate soap making accoutrement when I do projects that involves soap. Yes, I will just be adding a few of my chopped opaque pieces to these soap molds here, and then just pouring in some more clear melted soap. This, I guess, is what it's supposed to look like. I'm feeling like these bubbles here aren't really gonna be a great thing, so I'm just gonna try to peel back the first layer of skin after it forms, and it's a little messy but it's totally worth it because it looks a lot better when it's clear. Let's be clear, I already made that joke. While those are hardening, we're going to put together our third and final gemstone soap experiment. Yes, this is very exciting. We just have to chop up the rest of these little soap pieces here, the non-opaque ones. And actually, I wasn't really sure about how much to fill the cup, but I just put a bunch of my little non-opaque and opaque chopped pieces into the cup. Now the instructions say to melt a quarter of your clear soap and also pour that into the cup, but I think my cup may runneth over if I pour a quarter of the soap in here. So not gonna pour all of it in there. Now I just have to melt some of the opaque soap, but before we add the opaque soap in, I'm gonna add some hollow sparkle disco dust for all those galaxy disco divas out there. Yeah, now we pour it in there and it's not really mixing in like I thought it was going to, so just kind of use your chopstick here and poke it in. Maybe if I put it in the microwave for a little longer, like the instructions say, it'll all mix together a little better. Um, unfortunately, no, no. That just helped it spill all over the goddamn place. Yay! Luckily this is soap, so it shouldn't be too hard to clean up. Am I right? I'm also going to use the ice bath technique that was employed in the BuzzFeed video because my patience is running very thin. All right, now is the moment of truth. We get to cut all of our soap into the gemstone shapes starting with the BuzzFeed version. All right, here we go here. Yeah, you just have to cut it like this and then some more angled cuts at the top here and voila, la, gorgeous, just gorgeous. Let's give this a whirl, huh? Nothing. Moving on to the second attempt. Um, this seems a little less practical because when you start cutting things up, the soap comes out very small-like, and I don't know who has f***ing soap like this in their house. Crazy people have tiny soaps like this in their house. I know kids who like to eat soap. This would be prime soap-eating territory right here. But they do look pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, I like this technique. Super cute. And for our third and final attempt, it's shaping up very nicely. There's lots of facets to this project. A lot of ins, a lot of outs. It looks pretty galaxy-like to me. You know what, you can color me flabbergasted. I'm actually pretty surprised that any of these turned out looking halfway decent. If I was planning a galaxy get together, maybe I'd give some out as party gifts. A get out my house and wash your hands gift. As always, we want to know what projects you want to see us try here on the channel, so leave your suggestions down below. And as always, make sure to subscribe, like up this video, and I'll see you later. Oh, I forgot to mention something. <laughs>
You should follow us on Twitter. Yeah, it's a really great place to connect with us. And we're gonna be doing giveaways all summer long there. So hit us up right here.